Hi Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading. This reading is for Sun, Moon and Rising Sign Taurus. Taurus, what's going on with you guys this week? Taurus. And this reading is general in nature, remember, so please take what resonates for you and just leave what doesn't. And any personal questions, then you will need a personal reading, Taurus. So you can visit my website, katietarot.com, and that's where you'll be able to find the details of my private readings. Taurus, sun, moon, and rising signs, Taurus. All right, Taurus. So we have the king of pentacles. So this is you guys coming through straight away. The sun, amazing, beautiful, vibrant energy. Wow. The king of swords. Okay, there may be an air sign as well in your vicinity, someone that's important this week. The knight of cups, there could be a water sign as well coming into the picture for you. And the star, amazing. I feel like there could be some collaborations happening this week for you, Taurus, um, either with a water sign or with a, an air sign. Could be another earth sign. I am feeling this energy more as yourself, though. So, um, so I feel you're very grounded. You're very in your element this week. Whatever it is that you're doing, Taurus, this week, you guys are really hitting it hard. You're going... Um, in the right direction. Now, with the sun energy here and the star, I mean, this is amazing. Do you have a goal in mind? Are you uh, pursuing something that is um, a dream, dreamlike? You know, something that uh, you, you want to reach the the stars, something that is a big dream for you. And so that's what I feel you're working toward this week. You know, it's not going to um, be fulfilled this week, I feel for a lot of you, because this seems like a bigger dream. This could be more of a life purpose thing or a bigger change that you want to see happen in your life, Taurus. And that's what you're focusing on. And you're grounded about it. You know, we have the King of Pentacles here. This is you guys. So you are grounded. You in con are in control. You're the king. So whatever this is that you're working on or you're happy with, it could just be that you're really satisfied and happy in an area of your life this week. And it feels like you are really settled. You're achieving your goals this week. Um, there is love in the air as well. I do feel with the Knight of Cups coming through. So this could be a romantic thing for some of you. For others, it could be work. You need to place this energy. But it does feel like you're headed into the future with a direction and you are grounded and you're working things out. Not only... Um, emotionally, you're working things out emotionally, um, but not only that, you're working things out um, in your mind as well. So you've got these two elements working in harmony this week. So I feel you guys are really on track to making something um, happen for you in the long run, manifest something really tangible in your life, something that's going to make a big difference for yourself. Um, so that energy is around you, Taurus. So if you have been thinking about doing something like that, or you have a pipe dream that you're that you haven't started to implement yet, then this week is a great energy to draw on that that um, that uh, element, and so you can go ahead and and start progressing forward here. Um, very grounded. Things are in balance. I'm not seeing anything untoward here things are looking really good really um, calm and balanced but you have this bigger inspiration this week so Taurus you may get some inspiration this week somehow as well come through so I'm going to pull an oracle card for you and this is about what makes your heart sing what makes your soul fly this week what is it that is going to uh, assist you this week in more of a spiritual way let's take a look for Taurus this week. Taurus. What is going to lift Taurus up? Spiritually, vibrationally this week. Okay, so that one wants to come out. You are on the right path. Amazing. Beautiful. You couldn't ask for anything more. And that's what it feels like, Taurus, as well. You are on the right path here. Keep doing what you are doing because it's working. 
Okay, so like I said, if you don't feel like you are starting anything or you just have a dream that you want to start to pursue, this week is amazing for it. So go ahead and um, and start the process because you are the king. You're the king of pentacles. You're in control this week. You are um, um, ordered this week. You're structured this week. You know, you've got things sorted. It's an amazing energy. So I'm going to be pulling now um, a relationship card, husband, boyfriend, um, or a wife, girlfriend, romantically. Let's see what's going on for Taurus, romantically, romantically for Taurus this week, romantically for Taurus. Honeymoon. Okay, so enjoy the bliss of holidaying time together. So some of you may be going away on a romantic trip this week. There could be, you could be in the honeymoon phase of a relationship. Um, there is an energy here, meaning that, you know, some of you may actually be on a honeymoon um, after recently being married. Of course, that can be the case. Um, but it is saying that you and your partner, you and your significant other, whoever that is, um, the energy is really good to spend time together alone um, and going and doing something, perhaps traveling together, just going to different new places together, even if it's just down to a new, you know, a new restaurant or something um, to get back that spark for some of you, to get back that um, feeling, that honeymoon feeling as well. Spirit saying that's important for some of you to get back into that zone. Um, even if it's just a temporary thing, you know, get that spark back in and that romance coming back as well for some of you, I feel this week. So that's really great as well. So overall this week, Taurus, we've got some really great energies. I hope you all have a wonderful week ahead and I'll talk to you all again soon.